Hello everyone, welcome back to our BGP Photo Hands On Lab. In today's lab, we're going to go ahead and learn another important concept of BGP. By this time, I'm sure you all know that when BGP is trying to make a route selection towards any destination, there are many factors or many attributes uh, plays a role. And you know there are a lot of attributes with the BGP like AS path the origin code, the MED, the local preference, the weight. Uh, so all of these things plays a role whenever BGP is trying to make a route selection. So in this hands-on lab, we're going to go ahead and learn one of the important BGP route selection or we're going to go ahead and influence BGP to select one route or one neighbor over the another neighbor. So imagine if you remember our small topology where our R2 is connected with the two ISPs. Now there might be a scenario where both of these ISPs can say, hey, you know, that we both know to reach a certain particular destination network. In that case, both of the ISPs will go ahead and advertise that network or that IP prefix towards our common router, which is R2. Now, as an R2, as a customer, now there are obviously there are two possible ways that we can exit. We can send the traffic towards ISP1 or we could send the traffic towards ISP2. But imagine what we said earlier that the link towards ISP1 is our primary link. It could be because of many reasons. Because the link between router 2 and ISP1 is of a higher speed or bandwidth. Let's say that above link is 1 gig and the link towards the ISP2 is only, let's say, 100 Mbps. There could be many other reasons. In those scenarios, we want to influence our route selection. And one of the things that we're going to go ahead and explore is with the help of weight. So before we go ahead and, you know, uh, configure any of these parameters, let me go ahead and walk you through some of these things that we have been seeing in and out every single time. So let's jump to our router R2, which is our common router, and let's do a show IP BGP. So when we do a show IP BGP, we know, okay, hey, on this star and greater than symbol really says, okay, it's a valid and it's a best network. Followed by then we have a network statement that really indicates, okay, hey, this is the prefix. Followed by we have another BGP attribute, which is your next hop. Followed by metric, which metric really stands for your MED, which is multi-exit discriminator. Followed by we have a local preference. Right now, we do not have any local preference. So remember, local preference is displayed only if it is not the default value. So in this case, we have not made a change to any of our default values. And that is the reason the local preference is not seen here. Followed by the local preference is we have a weight. So if you take a look at the weight here, we do have a weight for the routes which are local to this router. That means these are the routes locally injected into BGP. And for all of these locally injected routes into BGP, the default weight is 32768. And you could see that there are prefixes which are coming from router R2 and there are prefixes which are coming from router R1 or ISP1 and ISP2. You could see for these prefixes, the weight is configured as a value of a zero at the moment. Followed by the weight is really the AS path. So in this case, we do not have an AS path because these are locally generated, originated. And in this case, this particular prefix is traversing from AS100, AS200. So this is our AS path. Followed by the last but not the least is the I, which really stands for the origin code. And if you notice for the origin code, we do not have any error. I guess maybe, you know, that's how the implementation is for BGP. And so these are the different things we, you know, when you do a show IP BGP to take a look. So as from this output, we could clearly see that right now for any of the routes that we are receiving on router R2 from ISP1 or ISP2, the default or the weight that is being passed is zero at the moment. Now, if you pay a very close attention to this particular output, there are a lot of prefixes that we are receiving where both ISP1 as well as ISP2 says, okay, hey, you know, we both know how to reach particular prefix. So if you take a look at the uh, example in this particular case, uh, let's pick one of the prefix for our discussion. 
let's go ahead and take uh, this particular prefix. Now, if you see here for this particular prefix, the system is really stating that, okay, hey, to if the router R2 needs to reach 1002.0 slash 28, there are two possible ways. One is towards 12.11 ISP1, another is towards 2 ISP2, 22.22. But for whatever reason, right now, the path towards the ISP2, how do we know the path towards ISP2 is because of the asterisk and greater than symbol is being preferred because right now the default the bgp selection is keeping the as path into accounting and because of that okay hey, this is the shortest path so i'm going to go ahead and run through this one now in this case as we said earlier we want to go ahead and if we are receiving the same network or same prefixes from both the isps we want to prefer the routes or we want to use the ISP1 to reach all of these prefixes because ISP1 is our primary ISP. So how do we go ahead and do that? So now we are going to try to influence the BGP's path selection criteria because right now if you see the weight is really being set to zero. So we are going to go ahead and play with the weight for these two ISPs. So we will go ahead and set a higher value of weight for the routes that we are receiving from ISP1 and the routes that we are receiving from ISP2 we will go ahead and configure a little lower value that would go ahead and you know make the route selection or that's how we are going to influence the route selection so let's go ahead and do that and I'll see we can go ahead and configure that again the BGP process on our topology R2 is BGP1 now any of these things are again configured at per neighbor level so we'll say our first neighbor 172 16 12.11 and if you go ahead and press a question mark here and let's scroll down the last option is the weight set a default weight for routes from this neighbor and as we saw earlier that all of the routes at the moment that we are receiving the weight is being set as zero now we are going to go ahead and we are trying to influence the path selection now we'll go ahead and change the weight and if you press a question mark here we could go ahead and uh, configure a value anywhere from 0 to 65, 535. So let's go ahead and configure a weight of maybe 200 from our ISP1. And that's the only option. Now go ahead and repeat the same thing for our ISP2, 172, 16, 22.22. And in this case, we'll go ahead and configure a weight value of let's say 100. And go ahead and apply the changes. So now what we just did, we went ahead and configured on R2 uh, the weight for both of our BGP session. So any time when a higher value, in this case, we have configured a value of 200 towards 12.11, which is ISP1. So that means the route that I received from ISP1 will be, you know, our, will have, you know, like a higher weight. So they'll be the routes which are going to be preferred over our ISP2 route. So now any time when we receive the same prefix set, from both of these ISPs, our router R2 will take the path to reach that ISP, to reach that particular prefix, it will take the path towards the ISP1 because we have influenced that route selection with the help of the weight keyword. Now, again, we need to go ahead and reestablish our BGP sessions on R2. So at the moment, we'll go ahead and say clear IP BGP and we'll go ahead and clear all of the BGP sessions. So now I'll give it a couple seconds and we could go ahead and take a look at now our IP BGP table. Before I go ahead and run that, if you remember that one of the, like this particular one, where the route selection was really uh, for this particular prefix, the selection was towards 22.22 .22 and the weight local preference, uh, sorry, the local weight was uh, configured as zero. Now we have entered and changed that. Now let's take a look at our IPBGP table. And now you could see that now the weight has been changed from zero to any prefix that we are receiving from our ISP2 has a weight of 100, while any prefix that, you know, the for the same prefix, any the path towards the ISP1 has a local weight of 200. And now you could see for any prefix which is received from both ISP1 as well as ISP2. Now ISP1 is our preferred route towards any of those uh, prefixes. Now you could go ahead and take a look at uh, this particular prefix. Now 
the AS path or any other attribute is not coming into the uh, play here. That's what something needs to be, you know, kept in mind when you have the uh, weight configured. We could go ahead and take a look at a little bit more detail about one particular prefix here. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this particular prefix 2.0. So we could simply say show IP BGP. So now what this command really says that, okay, hey, this RR2, there are two paths available. So if there are two paths, one we know we are 200 and one is we are 100 and 200. But right now the best path is number two. So the best path is number two. This is your path number two. So this is the path one. This is path two. And you could clearly see that this is coming from ISP2 and this is coming from your ISP1. It has a local weight of 200 while the weight of 100 is configured for your ISP2. And you could very well see here that, okay, hey, it is a best path at the moment. That means now if router 2 needs to go towards this, I, this IP prefix, I'll go ahead and send the traffic towards the ISP one. So with the help of, you know, we, with the help of this await configuration, we went ahead and influenced the route selection mechanism for BGP. So anytime when you have a higher weight, that would be the path that BGP will go ahead and uh, choose that. Again, how would you go ahead and configure? It is configured at per neighbor level. So you go to neighbor and then you will go ahead and configure a weight value. Higher the weight, the more preferred would be that route, you know, or that neighbor. If you are receiving multiple prefixes from this neighbor, another neighbor, and if this neighbor has a higher weight, it would be the preferred one. So hopefully you got the idea how we can go ahead and influence the BGP's route selection mechanism. And in this hands-on, we did that with the help of a weight. That'll be all for this episode. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.